Neighbors say they woke up to several rounds of gunfire. They say that's something that's never happened in this St. Matthews neighborhood. We woke up about 5.30ish with some gunshots, um, so we heard kind of rapid fire, about three gunshots. Many people living on Stabler Avenue could hear Thursday's incident unfolding. We immediately checked on our daughter and make sure she was okay, but then after that we kind of looked out our bedroom window, which is right there, and um, just kind of were looking to see what was going on. St. Matthew's assistant police chief says the department responded to a call regarding a man inside a home with a gun. Five officers responded. We're told the man came outside and pointed his gun at police. Authorities say officers told the man to put down his weapon, but he refused. The officers felt threatened. Uh, one of the officers fired some rounds. Buyer says the officer's shots did not hit the man and no one was hurt. Police have not detailed the relationship between the people who live here and the man taken into custody. I saw them handcuffing um, a gentleman and uh, putting him in the back of the police car. St. Matthews police requested the help of LMPD's Public Integrity Unit to investigate. The officer who fired his gun is now on leave. As is standard practice, anytime there's a shooting, the officer will be placed on paid administrative leave, and that's to allow him time to collect his thoughts, spend time with his family, and, and allow us to conduct an, an investigation. It's definitely a rarity here in St. Matthews, mm -hmm. but, yeah. you know, I guess, I guess crazy stuff happens everywhere. St. Matthews police will now wait on that report from the Public Integrity Unit of LMPD. In St. Matthews, Christina Mora, WLKY News. And police do not believe that the suspect was an intruder. We're told that the man likely had a connection to that home. At this point, police have not identified him or said if he's facing charges.